I've actually, I've like anticipated this moment probably for two years or more. Uh, and, oh my God. <laughs> this adventure contains mature and sensitive subjects. Oh, matter. you don't say. <laughs> you can uh, moderate some of this content by toggling the option below. <laughs> this option, among others, can be changed any time in the options menu. And the option is show nudity. Yes or no. Wait, how do we get banned from Twitch? <laughs> I, I think nudity is okay as long as it's in the game. Ah, uh, it's um, not as if I'm naked, that's exactly, bad. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> then click yes. I mean, I mean like, you can be naked I don't if give you a want. Shit. No, I don't want to get banned. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Uh, but like, just accept nudity. I, I don't give a fuck. I can't see it. But I want you to describe it to me, Vincent, and uh, this will be good for our friendship. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> nah, we'll see. All right. Oh. This is so cool. Mm. So remember from the, I think the teaser, teaser trailer, uh -huh. um, this huge cavern with a entrance through a, um, a staircase. And yeah. then there's this the skull, skull with yeah. the red uh, teardrops. That's the main menu. Ah, so that must be important. Yes. Also, what I'm going to do, because we're Some professional options. streamers. Um, <laughs> exactly. What he says. I'm going to change the title into Baldur's Gate 3. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Because we are professional streamers. Totally. This is my profession. You just closed the dockable window. Yeah, it's fine. And can I, can I just write the Twitter thing here? Am I locked in to Twitter? Ah, no, I'm not. Okay, because this, this will annoy me. I'm going to write the Twitter post now. Do I'm it. Sorry, this sure. Has to don't happen. apologize. Just do it. It's fine. This is how the sausage is made. Yes. Uh, there. And yeah, and I um, I was going to say that I've been anticipating this for a while because I'm about to. Uh, finally make Vincent do something that I've been dreaming about. <laughs> um, that came, came so I, weirdly sexual. I disabled the nudity. Yeah, <laughs> I should I should have refer Go Do your Twitter <laughs> thing, Vincent. I'm, I'm talking to myself and the chat. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, and uh, it's going to be amazing. I'm not going to reveal yet what it is, but I've been literally thinking about this for not exactly two years, and you'll understand why in a moment. This is getting weird. I know. I'm, I'm also saying this to make you nervous, Vincent. But I think you will actually enjoy it. <laughs> Your post was sent. My right. God, we're, so, we're so good. Good job. We're actually streaming now. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks game. for the face cam reminder. That's... Uh, oh, what's going on with the camera? No, I just... Um, OBS stuff. Oh, okay. Just touching the cam. Hi, chat. <laughs> Stop touching the chat. No, well, that's inappropriate. No, I just need to know where it is. It's here. I always touch the cam to see. Anyway, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Is that too loud? I, for me, it's okay. Okay. Well, Maybe the chat. If That's actually really helpful if you guys complain if something is too loud yes, or too quiet. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so do we want to check the options? Yeah, uh, just have a quick... Do you want to change anything of the gra any of the graphics? Then we should do that now. Uh, I don't think so. We'll, okay. we'll just see how well the stream handles, well, how the, well the PC and the stream okay. handles, I think. Uh, I do want to check with you at some point the accessibility options, but not now. Okay. Right, we can do that at some other point. Uh, and I'm not so hoping for much in this Cross sales, quick sales, show gentilia, uh, show cinematic nudity, show pri uh, share private moments. What does that mean? Share pri... That's <laughs> By default, certain scenes are private. This means that in multiplayer... Oh, okay. Oh. Um, Fascinating. Exploration. Is this some kind of porn game? Like, uh, there's so much about this. It's weird. I mean, I mean, go, come on. <laughs> you have seen the, the, the trailer. I saw it. Yeah, that's uh -huh. why I'm sort of worried. But okay. Uh, comic dice. Comic dice avoid failure or success streaks while keeping the results mostly random. 
Okay. That just means, like, I've heard this referred to as massaged randomness. Uh -huh. Many yeah. games do this, but um, I've never seen this as an option. That's fascinating. I have. Yeah? Do we want that? It, what's the default? It's on. I don't want it, because it's D&D. &D. Like, real dice don't do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. Exploration highlights. Choose whether or not characters are highlighted with an outline and or circle out of combat. I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, uh, we'll have to play it for another uh, Turn-based highlights, tactical view highlights. Sure, sure, I'll just leave that on. Uh, lock window sure. mouse, edge panning. Um, how does... I'm just going to leave that. Dynamic combat camera, camera shake, follow flying creatures. Uh, there's also a Twitch integration, but oh, interesting. We're, we're not doing that. I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't either. I mean, I, I know that there's... A yeah. Twitch uh, extension we could activate right, and you get into that, but no. Oh, well, maybe next time or whatever. I think I'm done with the options. I want to play this game. It's in well, um, according to the chat, Karmic Dice is actually the only option we might want to talk about. And we have. Uh, Thanks, we chat. You to I totally agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to look yeah. into the interface area. One and actually, after hearing this for a while, I do think you might um, reduce the master volume by just a little bit. Yeah, uh, and we also want subtitles on. That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. uh, and the accessibility, we did not want to look at, but the audio. Um, like I now it's sort of quieter, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to turn down the like the music. Okay. Yeah, Actually, we do want dialogue loud, right? Yeah, I'm going to turn on everything a bit quieter and just then the music bit. too. Yeah, just, just a bit. We'll see. That seems good. Uh -oh. I don't really notice any difference. Oh, it's definitely quieter. Yeah. Okay. I think it's fine. We'll see in-game. Okay. Uh, and back now, and I guess we start... New game? Yeah, we're about to actually do it. Mm -hmm. Let's play Baldur's Gate 3. Here we go. Select your difficulty. Explorer, a narrative experience played pacing story before uh -huh. or placing story before combat. Balanced, a balanced adventure full of challenging choices or tactician, a tough campaign emphasizing strategic combat. That's it? That's it. Okay. I love this and I like how they called the levels. They're very non judgmental. Yeah, there's also their pictures. The Explorer ah. version has <laughs> um, a group of friends sitting around a fire playing music. There's even a bear with a little hat. They do love their bears. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, then the balance thing is a group of friends in the middle of a fight being attacked by um, gnolls, maybe, and right. demons. And the tactician is just a headshot of Gary Gygax mm, judging you. No, it's a headshot of two dragons. <laughs> okay, we're definitely Breathing taking that one. Fire. Do you agree, Vincent? Do, do, we sure. we take tactician. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Can't be worse than Baldur's Gate 1. Oh, uh, <laughs> it wants access to the firewall, Marius. I uh, think it's fine, right? Is that a magic spell? Probably. <laughs> no, it's okay. Give it. Intro. All right. I'm, I'm going to shut up. Yeah. It's a relief, uh, uh, relief of uh, Mind Flayer. Hmm. And then the camera zooms down to... It looks a bit like a black flower petal. Oh, no, it's a room. seems very quiet. Yeah, now we made it too quiet. <laughs> but the menu was so loud. Yeah, but the... It's missed me. I can push it. There's a mind flare levitating into the room. And... He has opened a cocoon of a... Gith something woman. This starts like an Indiana Jones movie. Yes. Like the music, too. And he's now floating next to the flower and opening his hand and so is the flower. All right. And there's. Oh, that's the the um, scene with the mind bugs. They look like, like the little the slugs, things, right? Yeah, they look yeah. a little bit like the things from Alien. Okay. And they're translucent and about like three centimeters long. And he goes to the woman and places it on her cheek, and it has tentacles and is attacking her. Uh, and just just it's like alien into her eye this is just alien yeah nasty and 
now we are the one that has the oh god it's going into our eye oh it's like a first person yeah that's yeah. how you know mm -hmm. that with yeah, us. we okay. were trying to get away with the face but the mind flare like uh, controlled our head yeah that's the thing right you have a slug Enabled tutorials. Tutorials can help you learn about the core mechanics as well as Grace 3. Would you like to turn them on? Probably. I guess so, yeah. I mean... Okay, can we... <laughs> Never played it before. So in the, in the left corner, um, I assume it's for uh, core play. There's uh -huh. like um, four X's for four characters. And one of them is currently filled with Bobby Kotick. Because oh, that's me. Yeah. Sorry, that's my theme account, everyone. <laughs> and I was Haha, like, funny joke. I'm looking at this entire character creation <laughs> screen, and then Bobby Kotick is just <laughs> in ah, yeah, In case uh, you forgot about your favorite CEO of Blizzard Entertainment. Uh huh. Wonderful. No, wait. It's EA Blizzard, right? Mm -hmm. Who owns what now? I don't even know anymore. Uh, he totally took me out of the cool Baldur's Gate fantasy mode. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but what else? What's going on? Okay, we have um, character creation. Um, we nice. Have I was looking forward to this. An origin. There are six, no, seven origin characters. Yeah. Um, starting with Asterion, the white-haired vampire, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, Lazel, that's the right. Githraki woman. Gale, who looks like a male human. You said Gothraki, which is a Game of Thrones thing. You meant Githrai. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Gith, Gith uh, uh, something. The Gith, yeah. It's okay. Um, can I actually click on them? Because <laughs> I really want to play Call Drogo in this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Right. Um, okay, so uh, we can actually look at them. Uh, Lazel. Lazel was raised ready for life among the stars, mercilessly conquering the cosmos as a Gith Yankee soldier. Grounded, right. she must deal with a world she doesn't understand and find a way to serve her people in a plane that despises her wow, it's like, kin. It's like you're talking about me, Vincent. Amazing. What? Okay. Yeah. That's I'm uh, ready to conquer to and uh -huh. you know, sure, sure, I sure. identify with. It. No, we're not playing it, so let's make a custom character. We're I, always I do, do want to look at all these characters, so all right. it's just set. Yeah, I'm not arguing um, against that. So, Asterion, uh, the white haired high elf rogue. Um, oh, after no. 200 years serving a cruel master, the vampire spawn Asterion is finally free. Free to walk uh, in the sun, vampire. free to chase power, and free to take revenge. Uh, then we have the Githyanki. Uh, then we have Gale, which is just a great name. Isn't um, that... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Is this a reference to that stupid critical role I joke that they made? I think so. Okay, because that be, that's in my mind, this mm -hmm. is yeah, this character absolutely, now. Absolutely, yes. This is an obnoxious teenage girl. Yeah, but in this case, it's actually a middle-aged uh, man... Uh, oh, okay. Level one human wizard <laughs> with a purple robe. <laughs> I kind of like Gale. Um, I thought Gale is a, a lady's name. I guess I'm Gale's wrong. wizarding prowess once earned him the love of Miestra, the goddess of magic, until his ambition led him to the brink of catastrophe. Catastrophe. All right. Okay. Then we have Shadowheart, half a uh, high half elf, level one cleric. Okay. High half, I but guess. I guess he's half high elf. Yeah, that's weird. Tongue thing. twister. Sure. Yeah. Where's Sh the just level one fighter? Uh, I think we'll get there. Okay. Uh, Shadowheart willingly undertook a ritual to remove her memories in order to protect the secrets of her fellow Shah worshippers. Loss oh, cool. and pain are sacred to her, but her faith is now being tested like never before. That's cool. I like her. And I remember Sven, the CEO of Larian, talking about um, this character. Uh, so now I get what you meant. Yeah, also, um, we can play the introduction. I don't know what that is exactly, but it's not like it's not the proceed option, get into the game and play the introduction. It's listen to this character's story. Oh, like, I don't want to do that now. Yeah, um, just letting you know that's an option. Yeah. Um, then we have Will, Why? Uh, W-Y-L-L uh -huh. uh, Level 1 Human Warlock All right. Known as the Blade of Frontiers Will uses his magic to fell the monsters and devil menacing the Sword Coast In a moment of desperation he accepted an offer of greater power forcing him into an infernal game he's struggling to play Oh, they're oh. singing in the music That's cool <laughs> Yeah Just a so, little bit 
I, mm, this brings up one of the the eternal problems of level one characters because <laughs> this doesn't sound like a very uh, level one character. No, it? it doesn't. Will uses his magic to fell the monsters and devils, menacing the sword coast. That's not a level one character. Well, um, I mean, you're bringing up a very large discussion. I have a lot to say about that, actually, and, and, and it's already it's already very interesting to me the character design they've gone for here because we just like. On the stream we did, wait, while downloading and like waiting for the game, we just played Baldur's Gate 1, yeah. where the whole approach to level 1 characters is more like, oh, yeah, you're a human fighter and you have a sword and, well, I don't know, backstory, you were a farmer and, yeah, I guess you were the strongest of the farmers and that's where you go adventuring you now. You didn't let go. me read the backstory. I was a... But, yeah. You mean yeah. in the Baldur's Gate 1? Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah, I guess they had more, but <laughs> conceptually, you know what I mean. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and this is, but this is very much in line with, I think, also D and D five character design, and All just right. how they are mechanically shaping True, up, right? Yes. Level one characters already pack quite a punch, and mm -hmm. like they have magical abilities and stuff. Yeah. Um, so let let's go on. What else? Uh, is there? Then we have Karna, um, Zariel Tiefling, level one barbarian. Oh, I think they just okay. This is like a fighter. I now understand what they did in the trailer. They just went through all these original ah, characters mm -hmm. and just interchanged them in the position of the main character. And that makes so I might sense. be totally wrong about this. Maybe Chet knows this story, but I've avoided spoilers about this game. So there's a mm -hmm. lot of stuff I'm just discovering now. And But w what I was sort of thinking about is like these characters, if you don't play as them, do you meet them in the game? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know. But I, maybe that happens. I don't know. That's why I don't want to see the introduction mm. if we do meet to them as NPCs. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't think so. But we'll see. Yeah, um, I might be totally wrong. So, Karla. Um, Zario Tiefling, level one barbarian. Karla was, has escaped ten years of service in the Hells with nothing but the axe on her back. She's and cool. the infernal engine blazing furiously where her heart used to be. <laughs> yeah, and o actually you can see if you... I like her. Her, uh, her chest is, like, her entire upper body is um, scarred over and over and over. Yeah. Um, and her chest is, um, like, glowing and uh, pulsing red. That's awesome. You know mm -hmm. who Zariel is? Uh, I think so. Isn't she with like a fallen angel? Yes, exactly. She was also the sort of the end boss and the main thing and uh, the Wizard of the Coast adventure, Baldur's Gate, uh, Journey to Avernus. Or what? It's not what it was called. Something, ah, something, okay. Avernus. But is, is that fifth edition? Or? That's a fifth edition adventure okay. and it's pretty recent. And uh -huh. um, there you travel into hell where Zariel uh, is and you, I think you can sort of redeem her. And earlier today... <laughs> I was talking about Lulu, her little companion mm -hmm. uh, elephant. That's all Zario. So I like nice. this. How oh, they integrated this with the wizard adventure. It's kind of nice. It's one of the better adventures too. So that's cool. I believe it. Yeah. And then we have the Dark Urge. which um, <laughs> That's what he's called? Yeah. I thought that was a joke when Sven said that on the, um, the interview no. I saw. Okay. I, I think... I assume you can play the Dark Urge. Or <laughs> that's an awesome name. I love that. Yeah. I assume you can... Play that origin with your own custom character, basically. But uh -huh. Maybe I don't know. But is there no character given here? Um, yes, there is. But oh, okay. th this. Um, oh yeah, it even says your appearance and class can be fully customized. Okay. So you can play this character. Well, th this origin with your own custom character. So what's the deal with this origin? Uh, you remember nothing but a ah. path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? It kind of sounds like being a ball spawn. Sort of, yes. Interesting. And Sven even said, probably don't start with that one. Okay, we won't. Yeah. That's okay. So let's do something uh, custom. Yes. Edit appearance. Okay. Can we... So I guess you have to do appearance before you choose any of the race and class options? No. It's just... Okay, it's just a little bit weird. But um, we can choose the race, the sub-race, the class, okay. cantrip spells. We can all do that all. Okay. I will reveal to you now the thing mm -hmm. I've been sitting on for 1.5 years or so. I think longer. Mm -hmm. uh, what is my plan for this character? You can even just... Sorry. You can even to some extent uh, customize the other characters 
Um, ah, like not their appearance, but their like st starting oh, spells okay. and all that. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, at some point in the game, they, they should give you control over them. Uh -huh. I would hope. Um, okay, are we ready to do this? Yes, I'm right. just clicking randomize. Oh, for the appearance. Mm -hmm. But does it change? Like, if you change the race, does it like if you turn it into a dwarf? Does it not like make sweeping changes to the character model? I um, guess we'll have to find out. Well, I just randomized into a dwarf, and he has, <laughs> okay. he has um, purple hair. <laughs> cool. And, like, red eyeliner. So I love it. We're already going pretty strong here. Yeah, I do want a strong appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so many years ago, in a an actual tabletop D&D &D game that mm -hmm. we've had, uh, in the one that was Vincent actually DM'd, uh, oh God. I played a halfling divination wizard mm -hmm. called Willoughby Butterscotch. Mm -hmm. And this is the character that I intended to make with you and that play. That is fantastic. Oh, you, you concur with yes. this? Okay. Uh -huh. so, so, and it's also, this is sweet revenge for me because Vincent actually in a, I have to say, very glorious TPK, <laughs> uh, still ruthlessly murdered this character. Well, just play more effective. What, I mean, what are you doing? Look, we're not getting into that now. <laughs> Because <laughs> there was a cleric with us who just wasn't doing his job. Uh, there were issues with that, but it's still in my sure. in my mind. It's like it's a, it was mm -hmm. a glorious defeat. Yes. It still feels like a good session. But I I was pissed at this character that I couldn't <laughs> play her anymore because yes. I really liked her. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's this is how I'm getting back at you, uh, my wonderful DM Vincent. Uh, we're we're making Willoughby butterscotch. Okay, are we? Is she a lightfoot halfling or a strong heart halfling? Uh, what's better for a wizard? <laughs> uh, Tell me about the stat bonuses. Uh, strong heart halfling. I Legend think we're going with that one. Uh, yeah, go on. I think they ju just have one sub race feature. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how close this is to D and D five. In D and D five, the the lightfoot would be the thieves, the strong hearts. Yeah, it doesn't appear to change their stats. Okay, because they would give you more constitution. You would choose those for like clerics and stuff. Mm -hmm. No one would normally make a halfling wizard, but that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, strong heart resilience. You have advantage on saving throws against poison and resistance to poison damage. That's not bad. And lightfoot halfling naturally stealthy. You have advantage on stealth checks. I think I want the strong heart. Okay, um, and then we should probably edit the appearance and not play a like middle-aged man halfling. Yes. Uh, so female. I assume. Yeah, female. Um, Question is, what does butterscotch look like? Right? And this is going to be a bit tough for uh, us to communicate. Okay, so... The, hmm. What's going on? I was irritated because there's body type, and that's at the very top, and then there's identity, and identity is male, female, uh, non-binary, other... Sure. Um, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit confusing in the UI. Okay. But it works. We're getting there. Yeah. Um, so. The appearance? Yes. Is that what it's we're doing? Tell me about her face. So, so Butterscotch, in my mind, was sort of a little bit older because I generally find sort of older characters a little bit more interesting. I don't mean like ancient. Just She's not like an, a, a, like an elderly wizard lady, but like think like 40. Okay. Not yeah, like mid 40s, early 40s. We have a maturity slider. Sure, like a couple of lines in her face, not too much, mm -hmm. you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I think we got it, yeah. And uh, sort of uh, like she's seen some stuff, but she's also like uh, sort of thin, like like not uh, like not like a plump half. You know what I mean? Like halflings are known for like eating a lot and stuff, and like Bilbo Baggins and stuff. Yeah, can I actually... She's an adventurer, right? She yes. travels a lot. Yes. She doesn't have that kind of lifestyle. And then there's also... She's got a little bit of a habit. Uh, like like a smoking habit. Like herbs and stuff. And it helps with the divination visions and stuff. But it's all definitely left a mark. I don't know if you could bring this kind of nuance into her face with this editor. But you know what I mean? Ideally, if it has an option for like facial tics, that would be ideal. But I'm not expecting that. I am actually... Like, <laughs> there are a lot of very specific... Um, <laughs> Interesting. T tell me a little bit. What can you do here? So there's, for example, a slider for vitiligo um, pigmentation, which okay. I would say is 
pretty specific. Um, there's also an option for heterochromia, which is like different eye colors. Ah, mm -hmm. um, I think she has brown eyes. I am looking for just a general slider regarding her body. Mm. And I don't see one. So as far as I can tell, I don't really have any options. You can't change size or weight? No. It's okay. I'm okay with that. But okay. Yeah, it seems they've gone for more specific options rather than yeah. basics, but... Sure. This is not the Spore character creator. Exactly. Can we put another leg on her? <laughs> so. Okay, but um, we have six faces to choose from. Ah, well, uh, take the one that looks the most stoned, I would say. <laughs> uh, that's a diff difficult question, but... Uh, in the absence of facial tics. This, remember, these are special people, okay? These are adventurers. They're, if think. they would fit into a normal society, they'd be farmers mm -hmm. or... I think this one is fine. It is... Um, <laughs> Okay, I really wonder what it looks like. <laughs> she also has sort of very plain brown hair, but like, mm -hmm. how do I describe Does this? she have any scars? Um, not yet, I okay. think. No, uh, I, I don't think she's... A freckles? Oh, that's a really good... If then only really light, I'd be okay with it, but I don't think she has one. In my mind, in okay. your in your campaign, she, campaign, she actually had an eyebrow piercing. That's there. No. Oh, um, what about her genitals? Are they default or <laughs> vulva B or penis? You get okay. penis B, penis C, penis D. Uh, this is this is okay. I'm just gonna. I, I can deal with this choice. I guess normal genitals <laughs> are my D and D character, Vincent. If you ask this someone at the table, it would be a little bit strange. It's an RPG horror story. But I guess you play this. Normally, you don't play this. Mm -hmm. With another person, you do it in the privacy of your own home. So, like, you can pick and yeah. choose your genitals. I mean, it's cool. Uh, okay, then we like have... it's just default genitals. Body art, there are a lot of facial tattoos. Um, piercing style. Oh, you get piercings? Uh, let's see how much we can... Like a cool eyebrow style. piercing? That would make me so happy. Um, I'd settle for nose piercing as well. There is... Fast and Stars, that is an eyebrow piercing, and... Like Fuck yeah! Star... This is the best game ever. Star Earrings. No. Then we have uh, Lapis Stud Muffin. What's a stud muffin? That sounds also so yeah. uh -huh. spicy. Um, no, that's <laughs> just um, an earring, um, like a little chain with a um, precious stone at the top. Um, okay, no. It, and also a second earring a little bit higher on the right here. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I think I've seen that. Um, then Subdua Loops. That's um, a stud on the nose, a ring on each ah. eyebrow, and two rings on each ear. Well, <laughs> one ear with two, two rings and one with three. That's too much. Do they have just the... Uh, I think that's called a septum, right? The nose ring? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, then Midnight Tears. Let me just go through them. That's a lot, right? How many are there? We've already had the one I, I want, know. I think. The eyebrow piercing is fine. And if it puts st stuff on your ear as well, I'll, I'll be fine with it. It's okay. Uh, I wish it was a drop-down menu, honestly. Mm. What kind of menu is it? Just uh, you, you click next until you find ah, the one you okay. want. Uh, okay, they want you to see all of them. I there guess. is just a oh, minotaur yeah? ring. <laughs> it's like a septum, right? But, yeah, I, don't but I, don't, I want that. I it don't has want that. Uh, a skull <laughs> at the end of it. I mean, it's cool, but not for this character. Okay, let's just continue. Easy breezy. I guess just you don't even know how many there are, right? There are a lot of skulls in these things. Yeah. Uh, Archface worlds. These are just earrings. Commoner ring. Oh, that, that's... I think that's exactly what you want. That's Just an eyebrow? Um, no, that's just a nose ring. No, but I, don't, I want eyebrow right oh, okay, on nose. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I was just curious about the nose stuff. I'm just looking. Okay, then. And I w as I said, I would settle for nose if eyebrow isn't available. Um, there's one we had already. Then there's too many. Um, then there is silver gold gala, which is uh, not a ring in the eyebrow, but huh. there's also a lot. This game um, makes me want to go and get a piercing. <laughs> okay, well. I'll get over it, don't worry, but <laughs> it's... it's it's kind of cool. Uh -huh. um, so that one is an eyebrow piercing, mm. um, but not like not a complete circle, just like a half circle that's in the skin and then ends in oh. a pointy bit and an orb on the other side. Mm, okay. Um, then two nose pier piercings, a ring and a stud, and three uh, ear piercings 
on the left side and a ring on the right side. Okay. Uh, and then there's dark moons. There are two moon earrings and a very small moon uh, stud on the left eyebrow. All right. Maybe the very uh, first one was the best one. Possibly. This, so, this is so... Uh, sorry, I just keep noticing how they're having actual vocals mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah, I noticed it too. Okay, fascinating. We're back to the first one. The Fast and Stars. Yeah, which is that's a, a ring in her eye, left or right? Uh, it's not a ring in her eyebrow. It's a, like a, um, a barbell uh, thing. Yeah, I know. It, it's like um, a bolt. Uh, sure. And then in her um, left eyebrow. So if you're looking at her, her left eyebrow. Like this here. Uh, no, the other side. If you're looking... Okay, that's the right. That's fine. Yeah. yeah that's, good, that's good. That's good? Yeah. Okay. I like uh, it. No tattoos, I assume. No, no tats. Uh, let's see. The eyes. What is the eye? Like what brown. Eye, eye color. Okay. We That's a co normal eye color, right? For people. Yeah. yeah okay. Makeup. Any makeup uh, at all? I'm just curious about the options. What it's does it offer? Just um, eyeshadow in various um, designs and nah. strengths. Okay. Fine. I don't think she gives a fuck. Hair. We go. The hair I do care about, but I don't know how to phrase it. But it's like, <sighs> like. Brownish, blondish. Yeah, okay. We have um, brown, gold, one through five. Like not blonde, right? Yeah, it's more on the brown side of yeah, things. Yeah, let's go. Like uh, in German, what you would call an, an Unfarbe, an, an uncolor, non color. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's helpful. Um, just, oh, kind, just kind of brownish. Just really normal, plain looking, and then yeah, I, I think that's. I don't think she has like long hair because that would be inconvenient for adventuring, but also not short. And it's like you know, she just care and like wants to look mm -hmm. neat so and stuff. Let me tell you what. Sure. We're currently at. Yeah. Um, so the color is brown number four. I just the way I was talking to you is exactly how I've talked to like hairdressers <laughs> <Just> <laughs> and <laughs> being completely unable uh -huh. to explain what I want from them. Uh, and this is giving me flashbacks to that. Anyway, it's the reason I started cutting my own hair. Continue, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the, yeah, also, I, I'm seeing in chat, um, people are talking about the fact that we are streaming for six hours. Yes, we just finished it. And we have yeah. been looking at trailers and playing but a little bit of Baldur's Gate 1 and creating... Don't worry, there. we took a pizza break, which was quite nice. Yes. <laughs> We've just let the stream running. And yeah, it's a... An insane marathon that's installed <laughs> while uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Yes. Uh, like we started the stream when the game was released, not when we could play it. That's uh, true, yeah. But but we have been like downloading it for like five mm -hmm. hours or whatever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, anyway. Also, the um, the hairdo that we are going yeah. to have is um, like most of the hair is pulled to the top and then it's. Ah, uh, like a dud? Um, no, because it's. Like, like a librarian? <laughs> No, imagine like a dot, but the, um, it doesn't form a, 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 a sphere, but rather like goes to the back then. Ah, um, okay. And uh, the ponytail. Yeah, but wider. Okay. Um, but I guess so, yeah. And then it, it ends like shortly below her ears or on, at the height of her ears. So not very yeah. long. Now. And in addition, she has like two braided pieces of hair, like thinly braided. Um, at the front. No, not in front, um, right in front of her ears. Okay. Yeah, not what I'm going for. Okay. Um, what do you go for? We yeah, have I'd a ton of options. I, I thought instead of going through each option and you describing it to me, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is like uh, a, a form of torture, I would say, <laughs> that Absolutely. I could inflict yes. on you. I w let me bumble a little more. A yeah, a yeah, bit more. Ahead. And it's so just sort of short hair, but not bound together and also not like a buzz cut or anything overly short but just like you know mm, shoulder long maybe a little shorter and just sort of with a little bit of a flourish well now i found like the sort of karen uh <laughs> thing <laughs> you mean um, karen is in the pejorative term that mm -hmm. is uh, uh, but uh, i don't what's a karen haircut i don't I'm even know i'm gonna explain that uh, okay we have very short hair that is um, no, that, that's barely reaching her. Yeah, not too short. Ears. Uh, we have. What else? We have um, sort of. A, I think you call it a bob cut. Or something oh no, like that. no, no, no! That's uh, very straight, right? 
Mm, yeah. No, she actually has it parted in front of her. Uh, mm. It's just, it goes to slowly below her jawline. Uh, not slowly, slightly okay. below her jawline. Um, just, like, looks very normal. Honestly. Yeah. In my head, she looks kind of, you know, messy. Remember the whole stoner okay. thing okay, and okay, stuff? Okay, okay, and, like, okay. She, like, she has bed hair, you know? Um, but in a way, that looks good. Man, these are also <laughs> done so well. Like okay, they, that, that's a little bit more messy. I hair guess. is really hard to do in video games, by the way. Yeah, that's what true. are you gonna do? Give polygons to each hair? It's it's a mess. Okay, now uh, I'm looking at uh, the the entire hair is uh, like f flowing around her her face. Um, that's on. Oh, okay. A mm -hmm. little bit back, um, a little bit messy, but not too much because I don't know how messy this actually gets. Um, mm. And it ends sort of at the back of her, at the this beginning of her shoulders. I mean, that, that might sound? be the one. Yeah. Do you think you can change this later in the game by going to a, a hairdresser? I mean, I've heard that you can reskill <laughs> entirely. So I would assume that changing the this, hair this is, is possible. This is very important to me. But I think we've we've sort of arrived at a version of Baroscotch that's quite fine. Do you see that she's a little bit older? Yes. All right. It sounds looks, nice. Yeah, like you know, as you said, in her forties. Like you need to, you need, you need to see that she's got a bit of life experience. Otherwise, mm -hmm. she's not a believable wizard, you know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we can also change uh, her highlights and the graying. What's that? Highlights is, I think, just is that in the hair. The highlights. Yeah. That's a hair thing. Do we actually see that? I don't think we have highlights. That's fair. That's okay. Uh, no highlights and the graying. Also, no graying in our hair because I assume we are not old ah, for all. Yeah, okay, no, I get it. That makes sense. This yeah. was just hair stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we're done with hair. Uh, then we have facial hair, which I assume none. Um, that's fine. Bear beard? No. Okay. Can you put hair on her feet? She's a halfling, and in my mind, halflings have hair on the feet. Uh, I don't. <laughs> it's, know. It was a joke. It's okay. She's Although in the shoes, yeah, in so the, I can't tell you. In this game, it I wouldn't put it past them to mm -hmm. give you that option. Okay, and then uh, we go back to editing the character. Yeah, the actual so, mechanical stuff, right? Yes. Uh, also exciting. Where is it? Wizard, correct? That's right. But there's subclass options, right? I hope there is. Um, well, if it's anything like D&D, &D, we get to that later, right? Oh, at level three, you're right. It's uh, just when I made a character, I always picked it immediately. Yeah. And with the wizard, I think... Yeah, anyway, we'll see what the game gives us. And then we can select cantrips. Cool. Uh, we have... All right, we can not choose our stats, I guess. That's interesting. Oh, it, like it doesn't even give you the array to mm, distribute? No. Oh, fascinating. Okay. Well, I assume they're just going to be optimal for a wizard. Yeah, we have 8 strength, 13 dex, 15 con, 17 int... 10 Wisdom and 12 Charisma. That is sort of how I would do it. Although, to be fair, I'd probably put the 12 Charisma and the Wisdom for the better saving throw. Same, role. yeah. Yeah. This, uh, this is a bit... I, uh, come on, what, Larian, come on. you got to give that to me. Yeah. I can choose my genitals, but not the stats. Come mm -hmm, on. Exactly. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping for a mod for this. This is outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, it's fine. Uh, okay, select so cantrips. We have Acid Splash. We have Bone Chill. I can give you the details if you want. Please name them all first. Uh, Firebolt, Poison Spray, Ray of Frost, Shocking Grasp, Blade Ward, Friends, Dancing Lights, Light, Mage Hand, Minor Illusion, and finally True Strike. Okay, how many um, cantrips can we pick? Three? Three. Okay, I want Shocking Grasp, Mage Hand, and... Well, actually, yeah... I want dancing lights as well, but I don't know yet how much light and darkness will be important in this game, so I have to, I have to assume we will need it. Mm -hmm. So and it's, it's just a good cantrip. That's why I said earlier when we played Ball of Skate 1, I usually like just make some character and play for an hour or two, sure. and then I go back to, because then well, I know what is actually that's required. That's not going to happen. But remember, you just said it, the game lets you reskill, so yes. there's no, it's just... It doesn't matter that much, but uh, then I don't. I want to take shocking grasp later at level four or whatever. Okay. Uh, and so we have a ranged cantrip. You can cast shocking grasp at range with a familiar, 
but I already I also don't know how well familiars work in this game. Mm -hmm. So let's just be safe and take a ranged one. Uh, they didn't. I didn't see Toll the Bell. No. Toll the Dead. That would be the mechanically optimal one. Mm -hmm. uh, barring that, I think. Ch can you look at Chill Bond? Because that sounds like Chill Touch, which they renamed, which is an, a, a very smart choice because. Chill touch is neither a touch attack <laughs> nor is it chilling. It's a necromancy ranged attack. Uh, it's it's bone chill. Yeah, that one. That's uh, what I meant. 1d8 necrotic, uh, 18 meters range. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's like um, chill touch, which prevented healing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I am also now completely confused because the range is in meters. <laughs> and while this is sort of, uh, rationally speaking, the right choice, I'm just completely used to feet now yeah, because yeah, I've been um, playing D&D &D for so long. We can change that in oh, yeah? the options. Okay, yeah. we can do that later. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I want this. This preventing healing was never useful and I think in, in no d and I've played. I think 18 meters is just 30 feet. Though it's that, not actually the... F yeah. It, it doesn't work but i think that's their version of their conversion yeah maybe i'm um, just disregarding the range from now it's yeah. just range that's fine for me i think the other good one like so firebolt gives you just like, 1d10 fire damage the best damage and it lets you set things on fire which from what i gather for this game might be a useful thing because they allow possibly uh, interactions with the environment yeah i mean i can tell you for original sin these sort of elemental yeah. effects were very important. I think I just want that. That's like, you know, you, okay. you're a wizard. You want to make fire. That's a basic yeah. thing. Uh, then we have to learn spells. All right. We have six spell slots available. Uh, and the spells are... <laughs> I love this one. So thanks for doing this with me. Uh, burning Hands, Charm Person, Chromatic Orb, Color Spray, Disguise Self, Expeditious <laughs> Retreat, yeah. False Life, Feather Fall, Find Familiar, Fog Cloud, Grease, Ice Knife, Enhanced Sleep, Long Strider, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Protection from Evil and Good, Ray of Sickness, Shield, Sleep, still with the same symbol as in Baldur's Gate nice. 1, by the way, um, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Thunder Wave, and Witch Bolt. All right, I have very strong opinions on this. I've done this plenty of times with all the wizards I've uh -huh. created, but I do need some information. So, find familiar, Greece. <laughs> find absolutely find familiar. You're correct, uh -huh. but also like you read something. Also, by the way, same symbol. Nice. Yeah. It's also, they, like they, a, you know, why change something that works? Yeah, right? that's in, in both versions. It's sort of a, a cat or maybe a dog. A pig. Picture. Greece is pig. No, no, no. Oh, the, the familiar. familiar. Oh, that's a cat or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, you read something. What was that? Enhanced sleep? I, maybe I misheard. Uh, enhanced sleep? There's shield and then sleep. And No, it was earlier. I was confused because then later uh, you read sleep again. I enhanced think I leap. Like oh, can you look at that? Uh, they, they, I guess they renamed jump or whatever. Yeah, triple creatures jumping distance. <laughs> I mean, that's... It might be useful at some point, but we're not choosing that right now. It's not effective in combat. No. But um, it's probably good for puzzle solving. I agree, but hey, the cool thing about a wizard is you can still learn that stuff later. True. Yeah. I will just, I don't want to go w w through all the spells with you right now, Vincent. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to, like, normally, like, I can do this. I can look like, at the wiki or whatever to learn all the yeah, yeah, spell yeah. descriptions. I'm assuming it's mostly like D&D &D 5. So I'm, I'm going to pick uh, Find Familiar, mm -hmm. uh, Sleep, that's very strong at the start of the mm -hmm. game. Um... Thunder Wave as the basic damage dealing spell. Mm -hmm. That's just good. And then Grease as an AoE control spell that has doesn't have concentration. Okay, that one, please check that for me, that it actually still doesn't have concentration because that's the killer thing about it. Uh, I'm looking how... Hmm, is there even a concentration? Oh, is that not in the game? That would be a huge deal. Oh, no, okay. Expeditious Retreat has concentration and it says so. There you go. Um, but Grease doesn't. Yeah, and then am I missing? Yeah, okay, there's armor and shield. Which one do you want? Shield is, in my opinion, always better, but... I like shield, but I also have to say, like, every wizard I have played lately in CRPGs had just a high armor class, so mage <laughs> armor was useless. Or was never attacked, either one. 
Well, we can always pick up armor later. Like, shield mm -hmm. is just so, so strong. If you do get hit, you know, you can just use your spell slots to the, not get hit. The good thing about mage armor is, of course, that you can uh, hit somebody else with it. You can't. Can you look at it? I don't think you can. Uh, says range melee. Protect the target from attacks. Increase I guess its armor so, class yeah. 13 plus Th but dexterity. But here's the thing. This so is why it doesn't work. It only works if you do don't wear armor. Yeah, but here's what I did in um, Solast. You cast it on the druid that is wild shaped. Ah, and then they're not wearing armor? Uh-huh. But you you can't be certain that this they interpret the rules in the same way in this game. Yeah, that's fair. It's a good move, I I'm agree. Just, the, the and we will have a druid. We've learned about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah uh, this is actually, I, I always, uh, this was a case-by-case -case choice for me with every character. If you expect to go more into melee, I would lean towards shield, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, it depends. I, I mean, I like shield. I just, I'm just saying mage armor has its uses. It absolutely does, and I would pick it up in a heartbeat once we get the chance. It's mm -hmm. just, this is the initial spell choice. I say we pick shield just so we have something to use our reaction on. Uh-huh. That That's seems a like a good explanation. I didn't realistically, you want both eventually. Yeah. How many more can we pick? One. One more. Okay. We don't have a concentration spell yet, right? Uh, correct, I believe. Yeah. So Charm Person is the one, I think. Or am I missing something? Was Sleep Concentration? I don't think it is. Charm Person is not concentration. Charm Person isn't concentration? Charm Person. Level 1 enchantment I guess spell. it's not. Charm a humanoid to prevent it from attacking you. You gain advantage on charisma checks and dialogue. Uh, oh. takes 10 turns, condition ends early if you or an ally hurt the target. Yeah. In higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. Okay, this I don't think that spell works the way I thought it does, or how it does in the tabletop. Just, how many of these are concentration? Yeah, can you go through them again one more time? Uh, let me just finish this. Sure. Okay, protection from evil and good nah. is concentration. But it's kind of bad. I wonder if they changed it. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, Tasha Sidious Laughter is concentration. Yeah, but it's not that great. And Witch Bolt is concentration. And then Expedition, Expeditious Retreat is concentration. And that's it in yeah. regards to concentration. So in a tabletop, I would choose Charm Person, which definitely was concentration, I'm pretty sure. Or with I think so too, yeah. newer editions, I would also... There was Cause Fear. That was also fine. Mm -hmm. Just like level one control spells, they're not that easy to come by. Uh, I guess there's no choice then. Um... Okay, I have one, and that should be concentration 100%. Okay. And I was going to pick it anyway, especially for this game, and that's Fall Cloud. Right? Uh, yeah, uh, this is actually concentration. Yeah, let's pick that one. That's a great escape spell, and you can, like, fuck up ranged attackers. It's just a good one to have. Honestly, I, again, I played Solasta recently in yeah. one of the DLCs, and my druid had uh, Fall Cloud from the first level, I think, and I don't think I've ever used it. Okay, well... But Maybe Celeste just didn't challenge you. Yeah, right yeah, I think that was a problem. But I mean, I, I agree, see it's a good spell. Yeah. In tabletop, I've definitely gotten good use out of it. Yeah. Let's see if this game uh, does it. That's our spell selection, I think. Yeah, then, background is currently Entertainer. We have mm. Acolyte, Charlatan, Criminal, Entertainer, Folk Hero, Guild Artisan, Noble, mm. Outlander, Sage, Soldier, and Urchin. Interesting. And Which I one gives you perception as a skill? <laughs> yeah, I think the only thing we get from that is skills. So right. um, we get insight and religion from Acolyte, deception and sleight of hand of, from Charlatan, uh -huh. deception and stealth from crim Criminal, acrobatics and performance from Entertainer, uh. animal handling and survival from fro Folk Hero, Guild Artisan gives us insight and persuasion, noble history persuasion, outlander athletic survival, sage is arcana and history, but we get those from being a wizard anyway. Soldier is athletics and intimidation. And finally, urchin is sleight of hand and stealth. No perception. Yeah. <laughs> Th that's always the uh, best skill and it's hard to get. I wonder because hmm, I would really like to see all available skills somewhere right now. Uh, I mean, all, I, the, all in the game, you mean? Yeah I, yeah, I assume there's perception. But I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I don't know either. I'm assuming. Um, I can tell you that we gain from being wizard, yeah. we currently gain sleight of hand, stealth, investigation, and insight. Oh, we don't get to pick? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Okay. F wait, what? From b wizard, you get sleight of hand? Uh, yeah, it might be from halfling. From thing. halfling. Yeah. Okay. It's just, these are our current proficiencies. Normally, you would get 
Uh, yeah, they might be from being a halfling. Like, the wizard gives you a list of skills, and then you get to ch ch uh, choose two of those. And uh, among those are arcana, nature, history, all the intellectual skills, mm -hmm. as well as insight, I think, but not perception. Uh, and I'm expecting this to come up. For now, let's just make a cool role-playing choice. Let's just think about who Butterscotch is. And in my mind, she was either a noble or, a, I guess, a guild artisan. Okay, I, I should say I just switch to the next option in the menu. Ah, and okay. it's, um, oh, there we can change our ability points for strength, luxury. Oh, like, so they do let you do that. At the very end for some reason. Okay. And we can also change our skill proficiencies, which I'm going to look into. And we have athletic, acrobatic, sleight of hand, stealth, arcana, history, investigation, nature, religion, animal handling, insight, medicine, perception, survival, deception, intimidation, performance, and persuasion. That What's perception in there? Uh, yeah. Okay. I just, th that, that is what you want. That is all the skills in the game, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, are there? Yeah, yeah okay. So, well, so what's, what background? the background. Mm -hmm. um, what was Noble? Uh, I guess noble this will have also narrative consequences in the game, I right? assume so, yeah. 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 I, that was my next question. What would be your roleplay yeah, background? Yeah, I think um, that's the best way to choose here. Uh -huh. And I'm saying either Noble, like she definitely had sort of a noble family. Maybe she's even a princess, sort of. Oh, okay. Uh, or what else was there? I guess guild artisan, but that's kind of lame. I don't know. Uh, we have acolyte, charlatan, yeah. criminal, entertainer, folk hero, guild artisan, noble, yeah. outlander, sage, soldier, and urchin. I think I like noble. It's okay. cool. It's that's always cool to play a main character yeah. who's like... Let me just read you the, the okay. description. You are raised in a family among the social elite, accustomed to power and privilege. Accumulating renown, power, and loyalty will raise your status. And we get history and persuasion from that. Those aren't bad skills, in my opinion. Especially I, persuasion. I agree, yeah. And yeah. history is also... like The knowledge skills are not not helpful. It's not like animal handling. It remains to be seen in this game. Yeah, uh, with, with that bear video, animal mm. handling might be the skill in this game. Possibly, yes. You, yes. You'd never know. By the way, just again, talking about Sylvester, they did something I found very interesting. Um, depending on what which campaign you were playing, they yeah. told you which skills came up. So for the oh, wow. um, basic campaign, for example, they hadn't implemented sleight of hand. <laughs> so <laughs> they just told helpful. you straight up, like, this is here, and you can yeah. pick it, but it ha will have no use in this campaign. I guess that's helpful, though the ideal scenario is, of course, well, put it in the game, then, uh, if yeah. it's a choice. They, they did in the later DLCs, yeah, but okay. again, it's in the developer, right, they... Like had to no, it's cut for some. the for the situation they're in. That's a good mm -hmm. solution. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so noble it is. Noble princess, but princess Willoughby Butterscotch. Yeah, can we, we have to look out for naming her somehow. Oh, we will talk about that when it comes up. Okay. Um. So, ability. Yeah. Um, can I'm you read them again to me? Uh, these are just the the six ability scores. Uh, strength, Dex, Con. Yeah, intellect. but uh, the values. I mean, we can yeah. swap them here, right? Um. Just how many? Oh, it's point by to some. Oh, point. is it? Oh God! I wish it was just array and swapping. Yeah. Well, this makes it more complicated. Um, so we have we can assign a plus two bonus and a plus one bonus, mm -hmm. and our basis, and we have twenty seven ability points at the moment because I got. Uh, you minus everything. Exactly. We okay. have eight strength, eight dex, nine con, ten intelligence. Oh, yeah. we, so they're all at eight, but currently they, the bonus is all applied already. Yeah. So just all at eight. And I assume we want to raise intelligence as high as Get possible. Get it as high as you can. Yeah, baby. 17. That was what it was before. Yes. That's okay. Then so, dex, I guess. Dex. Dex plus one also. I mean... That makes it a 16. How high can you get it? 16? 16. Yes. All right. Because that's for armor class. Mm -hmm. And now we can put some con. How high do you get it? 15. And then we have no points left. <laughs> well, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> do we want that? We can also like put it at 14. Then we can that's put... That's okay. That's a reasonable, right? We can put two into wisdom. Like, it's. We, can you just recreate the standard array, but you swap charisma and wisdom? Sure. Right? So we have plus one wisdom and just plus zero charisma. Yeah, so and we like have minus one strength. We have eight strength, yeah. 14 dex, 14 con, 17 int, 
12 wisdom and 10 charisma. That's a totally reasonable character. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. This is I like this because this is not this is not this nonsense in Baldur's Gate one where you like roll ninety total score and then yeah. put everything at eighteen. It's just that's not how you play at the tabletop, and this is actually a character mm -hmm. I would make. I, I like that. Yeah. Uh, so skills, we can take two out of Arcana, Investigation, yeah. Religion, Insight, and Medicine. That's pretty cool. I like all of these, but I think we definitely want Arcana. Uh huh. And I'm wondering, I'm really interested in insight, what that does in this game. Or, but investigation is also cool. Yeah, and depending on, it depends how this game works with a party, but um, sure. my experience with CRPGs recently has been have the people that can get a skill very high ha have them get that yeah. skill very high because otherwise you just overlap and <sighs> nobody is very good at that skill then. So f inside, for it example, it remains to be, be seen how. The, I wish that they don't design it this way, but you're probably right. <laughs> that was always that was a huge thing in third edition. You either get it super high or, or you're useless at that skill. Um, but still, I'm thinking about just this one character and what makes sense for her, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that she's more of an inside person. Okay. So or what was the? What, can you read them once more? Uh, Arcana, yeah. investigation, religion. Insight and medicine. Religion might be interesting too. I might settle for that. That she's just she's learned that right in her academy and stuff mm -hmm. in her studying because that's also one of the intelligence knowledge yeah, skills. Yeah, exactly. And that's and yeah. that means we have a plus five in arcana, plus five in history, plus five in religion, and plus three in persuasion. Those that's are okay. the, the skills we got from mm -hmm. the background. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Okay, and then we have prepared spells. Oh yeah, um, we can ch prepare four out of the six skills. Spells. Um, sure. Um, Grease, Thunder, Shield. Um, sleep? Probably. And sleep, yeah. That's it. And Find familiar we can cast as a ritual, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, it's not quite clear because um, there are like symbols and descriptions for I'm. Uh, yeah. R can you remove Grease and swap it out for Fog Cloud? Because yeah. Grease and Sleep have overlap. Mm -hmm. Sleep will. Uh, be reduced in effectiveness very quickly as HP rises and then we can spam grease. Uh -huh. I think find familiar there's like a, a little um, like two arrows circling each other and it says short rest so I assume maybe we can huh. cast it in a short rest. We'll see. See how that works. Yeah. Normally in the game you need a brass brazier and 10 uh -huh. gold of incense. I wonder how they handle uh, yeah. that. <laughs> okay and I think that's it. The only question is can we choose a name somehow <laughs> I somewhere. hope so I don't know where but I hope maybe you don't know your somewhere. name you're an amnesiac like in many RPGs possibly or Let's, I'm just gonna click proceed yeah we what, nothing else we can do but hey I think I guess we're done with the character creation that's, yes. that's to me this is butterscotch will be butterscotch mm -hmm. I'm very happy we created this character enter character name there we go okay uh, does Willow it be? No, let's not have a first and last name, okay? <laughs> but I like it. Unless they... Okay. Okay. He, I, here's but what I... <laughs> yeah, please, make your case, Vincent. <laughs> In... <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm thinking about the characters I made in the Pathfinder games. And they were... Um, like, the two characters I made were both um, Azima. So I didn't give them a first and last name but rather a first name and then some sort of like title or something like that. Uriel the Fallen. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. And it's it, it's sort of in the middle between like first name and first and last name, I think. I just don't want every NPC in the game to like refer to us yeah. as, oh, uh, certainly Willoughby Butterscotch, you should do this quest. Okay. But so, you just Willoughby? W or just Butterscotch? Well, if it... If it's one of those, then just Butterscotch, obviously. That's what everyone calls her, right? Butterscotch. Okay. Let's just stick with that. It's like snappier. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You need a guardian. Choose one. A guardian? What is happening? Um, we are in a second character creation thing. What? Uh, oh, oh, interesting. Is this the co-op part of the game? 
I guess so. I can tell you in uh, uh, in Original Sin 1, you had to make two characters. I, I guess they've gone with that again. I wonder why. Mm, yeah. Probably for couch co-op. Um, also, the guardian we're currently looking at is the um, woman in the light golden armor, the, the dark elf woman in light golden okay. armor uh, from the teaser or the trailer. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah. But, like... Do we make one now? Uh, yes, is it it's just, just her? that's the default one. Oh, okay. But we don't... Why don't you make one? This is now ma basically... Uh, Butterscotch is mm. my stand-in. Why the hell does the Guardian have four body types and we only got two? Is, because is we're a halfling? Is that racism against halflings? I, I told you. I, I made this point at some point in the six-hour stream earlier today <laughs> that in, like, Dragon Age and stuff, the sort of... God! More, you know what I'm Damn about to say, Italian. right? The, where I played a, a female Ugh. dwarf, and it was like probably one of the character options that is yeah. less often chosen, and it was just a little bit awkward looking like they didn't spend that much time on it. And I, I assume, yeah, that's just how it is. Many people don't choose to play female halfling wizards. <laughs> every, <laughs> it's just my opinion. Every small character only gets two body types. Yeah. And every large character, except the Githyanki, get four. All right. And well, yeah. I think it's unfair. I love small characters. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, yeah, I, I, I sort of tend to play those. But hey, nice. this is yours now. You make this one. It's, I can oh. advise you, but... Okay, so you, you are the backline uh, character. It and looks like it. You can make your defensive tank. Yes. Right? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Do you want to make a dwarf? I'm, and I'm, the, I'm already you. at the dwarf. All what right, do you think all I'm right. doing? What oh, I'm loving where this is uh -huh. going, Vincent. Okay, dwarf, sub race. Shield dwarf. Yes, I want that. <laughs> 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 Vincent, Don't even know what they uh, do. Everyone has, whenever I've played with them, he has a strong tendency to playing very defensively oriented characters. That is correct, yes. Yes. Man, these characters look so good. Okay, I wonder how many beard options you get on the dwarf. Maybe that's uh, where they put the development time. So far, she does not have a beard. Oh, you're making a lady dwarf? Yeah. Nice. Uh, sk skin color. I want actually something a little bit more earthy. Are shield dwarfs like mountain dwarfs? Uh, let me read it. Great losses in ancient wars against goblins and orcs have led these dwarves to adopt a cynical mindset. <laughs> but they will endure anything to restore their ancestral homelands. It's just the hobbit dwarves. I mean, right? hobbits are not depressed. No, but like, I mean, pacif pacif specifically the dwarves from oh. the hobbit story and movies. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Where the, they the have Misty to go. Mountain yeah, dwarves, yes. they, Thorin the has to go back and recover. Uh, Is that the, the Lone Mountain? Not I, the Misty The Lonely Mountain. Yeah. yeah, the Misty Mountains are the, the um, they sing mountains about in those. the middle. Okay. Yeah, because they have to get over them. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. And the other, also just naming them, the other dwarf types you have Gold Dwarf and Duragar. <laughs> oh, you want to be a Deep Dwarf? I No. Okay. Also, it doesn't tell me anything about how, um, what their abilities are. So I, I assume that we do not get to play this character, maybe? We'll see. Hmm. Um, yeah, I can't scars. tell you. I like scars. I mean, she's yeah, you're more of a frontline. She's person. a guardian, right? Right. Uh, maturity, uh, not quite as old, probably. Um, but uh, uh, let's call it mid thirties. Cool. Uh, nothing else. Body art. <laughs> Depending on what are these tattoos. I'm actually quite fond of like some war paint on my dwarfs. Yeah, I um, love it. But the question is, what do we go with? <laughs> That's a great sentence, by the way. I'm quite fond of some war paint on my dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. will, uh, yeah. I'll it's clip it, Vincent, to <laughs> remind you of it. Yes. I'm making my ringtone when you call me. Uh huh. That is fine. I I'll stand with that. Uh, by that. This is all just like way too elven y. Mm. Like, way too intricate. More dwarvy, please. Yes. I, I want. Uh, okay, this is just. Okay, this is either elven or the other one is like cult. So, 
Important question. Yes. Your female dwarf, does she get a beard? Um, not yet. Okay, but, but that has to be possible, right? You're just not I add mean, the beard part. Yeah, you c could have given uh, Willow be a beard, right? So yeah, everybody I could have gets one. given her any genital that I wanted, so I'm assuming you will <laughs> get to put a beard on your dwarf. <laughs> yeah, but did you get to... Uh, w was there the option to give your genitals a beard? <laughs> well, you know, we haven't seen the DLC yet. True. Let's just true. wait for it. This is... I, mm, I don't know if there's anything here that I really like. What are you cycling through right now? Just different tattoos, face tattoos. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and they are like a lot of them are very intricate. That's like what I meant by, by two elven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are ones where like your entire face is covered in black paint. <laughs> that's kind of, okay, maybe not that one, mm -hmm. but like... Th that's very dwarven, where you just, okay, I need face paint, so I'm just going to take this bucket of red paint and dump my head in it. <laughs> that's <laughs> just true, start yeah. screaming into the bucket, and uh -huh. that's how we paint our faces in the mountain homes. I don't know. I, uh, none of these really speaks to me. This one is sort of the closest. This has, um, like, a vaguely dwarvic rune appearance. Okay. Sort of reminds me a little bit of, like, the... Um, the door to uh, Moria. Okay. But uh, very vague. But it does sound like it would be more fitting on a dwarven wizard. <sighs> yeah. I'd, I'd just leave it blank. Maybe you can just put more scars on your face. I was thinking that, yes. Um, gray eyes? Mm, I actually like that. All right. Makeup? Ex especially the eye makeup. I hate that. Um, so she she came with eye makeup and uh, just, it's it's horrible. A, it depends on like on a thief or a bard, whatever. But like a dwarven fighter or like, and they they're going for the smoky eyes look. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean maybe just a little because it helps her eyes appear a bit more sunken in. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe it's not paint at all. Yeah, I, it's permanent. <laughs> yeah. This was a little, b a little bit of a Botox accident. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> this dwarf cannot move half her face. <laughs> Minus two to charisma. Ah, I'm not really a fan of either of them. I mean, this is sort of okay. Sure, I'll leave it at that. Hair. Uh, she has white hair, which I actually... She looks a little like a older, rougher pike. From Critical Role. I don't know what Pike actually looks like, God but damn. sure. <sighs> I have an image Every in my head. Time with you. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> After a certain date, like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> actors and stuff don't ma ma mean anything to me anymore. Uh, yeah, it's mostly because um, Pike has, like, long white hair. Ah, okay. And, a arm, uh, and is wearing armor, and she too has long white hair and is wearing ah. armor. So your dwarf has uh, long white hair? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and I think, honestly, I'm going to leave it at that. Like, there are uh -huh. a lot of options that I could go through, but I just can't really... You can know, always do it. Yeah. Off screen. Facial hair. This is important. Do you even want facial hair? I don't want to push you into a bearded dwarf look. I'm looking at a version right now, and I'm not entirely against it. <laughs> but I'm looking for... I was, I was thinking that maybe... a a light beard or not a light beard but is uh, um, not very long full beard sure or the, I mean <laughs> like honestly I think there are ways to make this sort of make sense and make it also um, right even if male and female dwarves both have facial hair they don't have to have the same styles of facial hair and there may be versions of uh, female dwarven facial hair that is like sort of signifies femininity yeah, but they these could like braid it and stuff. You know. I mean, yeah, but dwar male dwarfs also braid their beard. That's true, but they can different styles. You know, this there's some this room for nuance here. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, you I don't just have to smash f hair in your face. That's fair, but I think like the hair I'm currently I currently have selected is um, like a, a full beard, um, but again not very long except at the chin, and then there's okay. um, not a braid but like a, a banded. Um, beard piece that is a bit longer All right. um, which is like that's as close as I can get to a beard I'm fine with and still it's not very close do they have glitter beard as an option no them that's very sad 
actually, can we do something with the color, maybe? Yeah, do you no, also want a white beard, like the hair, or we can you pick a different Actually, color? there's no option to... Ah, it has to be. I guess that's realistic. Although, <laughs> it's not always the case for people that the... Um, like, b like beard hair is t technically the same as genital hair. It's like in intimate, like, how do you call that? I don't know. Sorry, I was looking at. Yeah, I'm just sort of. It's okay. I'm just sort of filling the air with my yeah, that's musings fine. on. Um, how do you call that? Intimbehaarung in German. Um, oh, public? Uh, pubic hair. Pubic Thank hair, you. Yes. That's the word I'm looking for. <coughs> Facial hair is pubic hair and it, it has the same color and stuff for mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Um, so I've looked at all the beards and I am not a fan of <laughs> even a single one on a woman. All right. Um, then don't have a Not beard. even a dwarven woman. All right. So let's just uh, no keep beard. that. Yes. Fine. And the Venture Fork. 